Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. And we are testing out the Father's Day Specialty Fuego Box. It was a very nice wooden grate. This was like $49 plus 10 in shipping and handling. So the crate damn well be better be nice. It is. Because we you're paying for it. Now this came with six items and they're all not specifically hot sauces this time. Like there are other stuff. There's two, I think, actual hot sauces. Yeah. See, there's two hot sauces, a couple of... See, this thing only lists five things, but there's six things in here. Dun, dun, dun. We'll Shut have to figure up. out what the... Uh, we'll figure is. out what, what the thing is that's not. So, I guess we should start with the salt first, since it's probably yeah. the least seasoned. I think we tried something from this company before. <laughs> and we've gotten salt in like packets before but I think we tried it after I had tasted something super hot and could not taste anything. Plus most hot sauces are pretty salty so trying a salt after you've tried some hot sauces is kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. So this is a smoked ghost. Laguna Salt Company handcrafted sea salt. Okay. Warning this blend of slow smoked all natural sea salt infused with the incredibly hot ghost pepper is unlike anything you've ever tasted. Its flavor is 100% natural goodness. No artificial colors, flavoring, or liquid smoke added. Try it on just about any dish, but remember this salt is hot. Use it sparingly, but use it often. Try it on mashed potatoes, pasta dishes, salads with blue cheese and bacon, and barbecue sauce as a finishing salt, and on grilled foods including steak, chicken, and fish. It smells like charcoal. It like does. It smells it super on. smoky. You know, I haven't tried it yet. It caught me a little off guard. But it legit smells like charcoal. It does. It's very, like, when they say smoked, they mean it. It's got a decent spice level to it. Good and salty. It's kind of big flakes, almost like kosher salt, which I, I like. I like to use kosher salt on stuff, so. Can't use that like Tony's, though. I'll die. No, probably not. <laughs> okay. What do you want? What should we do next? Um, probably the, the dry one. hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Benny, T, Benny T's Vesta Very Dry Hot Sauce. The concept of the dry hot sauce. Powder. It's a it's a powder. It's a powder, by the way. It's like a rub. But they don't call it, you know, chili powder or seasoned salt. They call it dry hot sauce. Benny Tees believes that heat should enhance food food's flavor, not disguise it. That's why they created Vesta, the world's first dry hot sauce. This sauce, their quotes, not mine, brings the flavor, aroma, and mind-altering heat of fresh chilies to your table in a brand new way. Handcrafted and made in small batches, each jar contains around 11 fresh chilies. Try it on pizza, pasta, sandwiches, cheeses, hummus, salads, grilled fruit, canapes, soups, dipping sauces, meats, fish, grilled cheese, in rubs, and breading, and much more. What's a canapé? like an hors d'oeuvre. It, uh, it smells pretty awesome. Uh, it actually smells, there's a lot of onion to the smell, uh, which Enough. is unsurprising because onion powder is like the second, uh, or onion is the second thing, second ingredient. It's, Woo! It smells really No good. salt at all. Oh, there's no salt to it? I hadn't, but it smells very oniony, but in a good way. Other than smelling good, it's like heat without without flavor. Like there's almost nothing. Like there's it heat, needs there's, salt. <laughs> but there's nothing to back it up. Like it's okay, but there's just I don't know. It needs some substance. It's, basically, it, it, it's heat with almost nothing behind it. So a little bit of salt would do it a whole lot. I think better. I figured out which one is not actually on the thing. Well, that's good. It is this little one right here. Probably a sample. Well, it's pretty big for a sample. This is the shit. No. So we got the Marie Sharp's Habanero Pepper Sauce. Just in a little plastic bottle. It looks like something you'd honestly see, see at like a restaurant. It's kind of small for that though. Yeah, it's a little on the small side, or maybe like in one of those little packs that you get at like Christmas time. Maybe like. That's what I used to buy him before we started getting these. Every year around Christmas time, he would get like a big sampler pack for Christmas. Yeah, it smells like habanero hot sauce. It's 
pretty thick. You know, almost thick to the point of almost being a little gelatinous. It's a little, it smells a little salsa -y to me. No, no, it's, it's definitely got a little, maybe some cilantro in it that's making it smell kind of like salsa. I like that. Look, I really like that. That's well, surprising. Generally, you don't like the habanero ones because they murder you. There's fresh carrots in it. I hate carrots. Mm, that's good. And for uh, habanero sauce, it's actually not that hot. That's really good. Good garlic. I think the, the smell is actually... <laughs> I think the carrots are what's making it smell just a little bit like salsa. Maybe. So, Marie Sharps, you make a good Jessica approved hot sauce that doesn't destroy me. So what do you want next? <coughs> Whoa, let's see, we got what the... We got the panda the oil, thing. The oil, the hot sauce, and the honey. Mm -hmm. Let's do the oil. Okay. It's going to be a little harder to taste because it's chili yeah. oil. But This is pure panda chili oil. I've never had anything like this before. Yes, you have. When? When I, when I make that Szechuan chicken. Oh, oh shit. I cooked that in chili oil. Oh shit. Fresh on the scene in 2016 and ready to invade for just all over, Purple Panda puts a unique twist on a traditional Szechuan classic. There you go. Jam-packed full of flavor, smokiness, and heat, this jar of Purple Panda is handmade in small batches, numbered, and bottled in the City of Angels. It was originally created to complement Poe, but man oh man does it go with anything. Is it Poe or Foe? Does anybody out there know? From Food Network, I think it's Foe. So wrong. Just throwing it out. That sounds like the worst. Try it on pho, ramen, soups, dumplings, Thai food, pizza, eggs, rice, salad, sushi, popcorn, and has a dipping sauce, cooking oil, or marinade. It's gonna be a hard one to try. It smells like mostly like sesame oil. It's literally a damn oil. What it I mean it is I'm sure it's just infused sesame oil. It smells like sesame oil. I don't like the smell of that. There's almost no flavor in and of itself. It just has some spice on the background. It tastes like sesame oil. <laughs> Clearly, you're not a fan. Remind me to never eat sesame oil. That is not pleasant. It is not hot in any way, but it is not it's pleasant. It's really not as hot as I kind of was expecting. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I, I would totally use it for stir fries and stuff, <laughs> but it's, it's it's kind of something that's hard to give a good real review on just on tasting it straight. Because straight, it tastes like spicy sesame oil. Hey, maybe we'll do a cooking video one day with it. Mayhaps. If That would actually require you to at least partially be on camera, though. Just the hands. Just the hands. If you can handle just the hands. Let's do the honey next. Okay. All right. This is the Bee Local Hot Honey made with American honey and scorpion chili, which is scary as shit sounding. Scorpion chili. But it, it's like a little honey jar. Bee Local Hot Honey is an irreplaceable condiment and a powerful weapon in your culinary arsenal. What separates this hot honey from others is the quality of the honey. Sustainably produced single origin Bee Local Honey. From there, the honey is infused with scorpion chili peppers, one of the world's hottest yet most flavorful peppers, and then balanced out with a touch of vinegar. Try it on fried chicken, ribs, pizza, all manner of barbecue, roasted vegetables, cheese, fruit, ice cream, and in cocktails. Uh, it looks like honey. It definitely looks like honey. It smells like honey. It smells like honey with something in it. It's because these are the same spoons from the chili oil. Oh. Yeah. It tastes like honey. With a little bit of kick to it. It's good. But I really dig honey. That really does taste like spicy honey. Very Which, spicy I mean, honey. To be fair, it's called hot honey. I, I, I don't know what I expected other than it to taste like. good. You can't see this. He literally tipped it back and poured it a ton of it on his tongue. I can definitely, I can get a little bit of sourness that I assume is coming from the vinegar. Yeah. And finally, we have Hoff sauce. You, except it's not that Hoff. It's this dude, whoever Sadly, he is. Sadly, it's not the Hoff that one does not hassle. I love it when they come in bottles like this, actually. Like, I love those little liquor looking bottles. Anyways, this small batch chili concoction is perfectly balanced for all types of mood, food, 
and is made in Chattanooga, Tennessee by husband and wife duo Hoff and Pepper. Premiering, <laughs> I didn't make that up. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sure you're, you're great people, but your names are Hoff and Pepper and I have to mock you for that. <laughs> Premiering in 2015, it has quickly become a favorite sauce for those that love its combo of red jalapenos, habanero, and just a kiss of Chipotle. Winner of first and second place awards at the 2016 Screaming Mimi Awards. Try it on everything from eggs to sandwiches, salads, pizza, burgers, poultry, fish, casseroles, tacos, er, you get the picture. It's, it's said that. It's strange because it's a large glass bottle, but it's got like a, a stopper top, like you would normally see on top of a Tabasco bottle, so that you can only put out like a drop at a time. It smells like Tabasco sauce. Hmm. Smells, well, a little bit, but it's, I can definitely smell some Chipotle in it. That is what it looks like. Very sour. Almost as sour as like a green hot sauce. Not bad. Not bad, not that hot. Uh, definitely get the chipotle, get a little bit of habanero, get some jalapeno. It says it's got garlic in it, but I think it lies because I don't taste any. I'm sure you're great people, but your names are Hoff and Pepper, and well, I'm sorry, but I have to mock you. And they're in quotations, so I think they gave them to themselves. Probably. Anyways, that is it. So we still have this you know, nice decorative box that since we paid for it, I gotta figure out something to do with it. Full of paper shavings. Oh yeah, full of paper shavings that one of my dogs tried to eat earlier. She didn't succeed. Uh, well, we took it from her. She would have succeeded if we let her. That may be. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see a cooking video, let me know. And hopefully we will see you later. Bye.